Well, hello everybody. Today I'm down in the garage picking at some things. I'm actually getting this little pistol out of my collection. It's going to a guy who's uh, going to probably appreciate having her around a little more than me. So uh, just come down today, just give her a quick clean and get her ready to mail off to its new owner. Other than that, guys, I'm just down here bullshitting around. So I got a few things here I want to show you guys. Just some basic things that uh, for anybody new to wanting to be a little bit more prepared. These are just some start points, right? Like uh, when you talk about a lot of this stuff, this is like basic entry level. You can get into it pretty easy, um, especially if you shop around. But uh, right now while Amazon's still shipping and stuff, you can possibly get some of this stuff now. So uh, we're just going to go through it um, and we'll see where it goes. All right, so the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is some kind of power station or portable power bank or just a way to have some a few extra hours of electricity if the power were to go in your house. So if the power were to go in your house, you would uh, think about things you'd want to keep running. Maybe your cell phone, maybe your laptop, maybe a radio. Uh, this will all translate. You'll see how we go. So this is the Yeti 400. It's one of the smaller power packs. Uh, I mean, they do the the Yeti 1000, the Yeti 1400, I think. The, and then Jackery is a different manufacturer who makes a 1000. Uh, the Apex the, by Kodiak is probably one of the best. That's a 1000 watt system as well. But they, they run pretty high up in price when you get up into larger wattages. They, they could be eleven to $1,500 Canadian. Whereas this one, I had almost two years now and this one was 500 but on this unit here you can see it has a 12 volt uh, charge port it has two usb charge ports and two main light socket type 120 volt lights so this is a 400 watt inverter so it has the full display where everything is how many watts are going out how many watts are going in you can actually charge this one by plugging it into the wall. So if you're just in an apartment or in your house and not running solar, you can just plug this in and in a room somewhere and leave it plugged in. And if the power ever goes, you have hours of power here to uh, like charge up your laptop or maybe charge your cell phone or anything like that. So look into a portable power bank of some kind. Uh, any Anything that's usable, uh, you find the right deal, well, then it's probably right for you. Uh, if you guys want a separate review of all this, just let me know. I'm just going to basically touch over it, okay? So on these here too, now anybody not looking to get into something like this, that's a full power unit, even things like this, we got these on Amazon, these two. They came in a two-pack. I think they were 40 bucks. They're 5,000 milliamp. I find they'll charge, they'll charge my cell phone twice, and you'll have a little bit left over to like run the built-in flashlight. So a little built-in flashlight on it that runs but so not bad two of those i mean for for the basic beginner like two of those in a drawer always charged always plugged into a wall this one we actually got from a dollar store this will charge my cell phone once um or like uh, my gopros and stuff like that but it's really light and it was cheap it was like eleven dollars so portable power packs guys it's uh it's worth thinking about when uh, when you start thinking about devices and stuff you might want to run if the power now another thing I'd like to touch on before I leave you today is basic communications so for my family the way that I look at it is if the cell phones didn't work and the power didn't go and the power was gone so that's basically you know you're kind of blacked out you don't know what's going on right so two main requirements for me uh, first is to be able to hear the news or any updates from officials. So I highly recommend, got this one on Amazon. I've already noticed the price has gone up on this, but this little radio here actually has a solar panel. It's hand crank and it is USB chargeable. So I can charge it off of my Yeti or just have it plugged in the wall all the time so that it's always charged. Uh, it has AM, FM, and the weather band. So that's the most basic of what you would want, right? That's the most basic information you would want. It's the weather and AM, FM bands. It's not UHF or any of that fancy stuff. This is like 
you know, not the apocalypse, but maybe an emergency. You know what I mean? So that, and then if cell phones didn't work and we still had to go out and like kind of do stuff, like had to go get fuel or had to go to the grocery store or who knows, who knows, right? Uh, maybe you're in a FEMA lineup. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, is that if you can, even these basic family radio services, now we find these talkabouts by Motorola, uh, they work really good. In the city, we can get maybe a couple of kilometers, a little bit, a little bit less than a couple of kilometers. But my grocery store and my gas station and my pharmacy and everything is within like two blocks of where I live. So, but I mean, even something simple, like maybe you have a garden you're tending in the back, right? So you're tending a garden in the back and whoever's in the garden has one of these so that people in the house that might be doing other things or in this different section where they can't see you, uh, they would have communications. Maybe I would say, hey, I need your hand to move this barrel or, or, or any reason they might need to get a hold of you, right? So basic communications. This stuff is super easy to find. Uh, this stuff's still on Amazon for like 40 bucks, I think. And this, this stuff here, you can get these on buy and sells and Craigslist and Kijiji. And like these things are, are kind of everywhere right now. And they're not hard to find. And there's the whole thing, guys, just on a shelf in my garage. As you can see, I got the radios and the little charger packs plugged into the Yeti. From the wall right now, I'm getting 56, say, 58 watts. 20 going out to charge it, so that means it'll maintain everything. If the power ever goes, everything right here should be fully charged. Well, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today, guys. Just a couple of little things again. Put out a little video. Get you guys thinking about some stuff. Uh, coming up in the future, I'm probably going to do a uh, mask video as well. Uh, just to give you guys some tips on some of that stuff. So, other than that, guys, I'm going to end it. So, stay safe. Love your family. Peace.